The Heimwehr German, Heimweh, Home Guard or sometimes Heimatschutz German, Hamatis, Homeland Protection were a nationalist, initially paramilitary group operating within Austria during the 1920s and 1930s, they were similar in methods, organization, and ideology to Germany's Freikorps. Although opposed to parliamentary democracy, the Heimwehr maintained a political wing known as the Heimatblock, which cooperated with Engelbert Dolfus' conservative government. In 1936, the Heimwehr was absorbed into the Fatherland Front by decree of Chancellor Kurt von Schuschenig and replaced by a militia supposedly less inclined towards uproar against the regime, the Frontmillas. <laughs> Origins and reorganization Formed mainly from demobilized soldiers after World War I, the Heimwehr were initially formed as loosely organized militias to defend the borders of Austria. As with Germany's Freikorps, there was no formal national leadership or political program at the beginning, but rather local groupings which responded actively to whatever they considered to be ideologically unpalatable. In Carinthia, for example, they formed to protect their region from Slovene and Yugoslav troops. Ignaz Seipel, Christian Social Austrian Chancellor at the time, reorganized the Heimwehr as an answer to the socialist Schutzbund in an attempt to curb socialist power. The increasing politicalization of militias led to the Heimwehr involvement in helping the police suppress the July Revolt of 1927. The most distinctive part of the Heimwehr in uniforms was a green Loden hat with the tail feather of a black grouse, which had earlier been the symbol of the Tyrolean Kaiserschützen. Therefore, Heimwehr fighters were ridiculed by their opponents as "'Rooster Tails' <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Nationalism The Heimwehr continued to lack any real national coherence up to 1930, when Heimwehr leaders committed themselves to the Kornuberg Oath, which established an Austrian conservative nationalism base as distinct from the pan-German nationalism of the Nazi Party, a rejection of liberal democracy and Marxism, in favor of a more autocratic government, and a rejection of «class struggle» see Austrofascism. This initiative was spearheaded by Richard Stiedel, who was supported by German émigré Waldemar Pabst in his attempts to convince the Heimwehr to support the corporatist state economic policy which Benito Mussolini was putting into practice in Italy. When Walter Vermeer, regional head in Styria, attempted a coup in 1931, he received no support from other Heimwehr leaders. After this, many Heimwehr groupings, including the Styrian section, increasingly defected to the Nazi Party. Tensions continued between Austrian section of the Nazi Party, who believed in a pan Germanic state, which would bring Austria into a greater German Empire, and the Heimwehr, who believed that Austria should remain an independent nation. This led to low level violence, including one incident where Nazi Party members attacked a Heimwehr march with eggs. Decline After Engelbert Dollfuss created the Fatherland Front in 1934, he gained control over and incorporated the Heimwehr into other right-wing militaries with the help of Heimwehr leader Ernst Rüdiger Starhemberg. Politically, the Heimwehr suffered a decline in support and significance due to the pan-German, nationalist allure of the Nazis and Italy's gradual reorientation of its foreign policy towards Germany. As a result of these factors, Dolphus' successor, Kurt Schuschenig, absorbed the remaining Heimwehr elements into the Fatherland Front in 1936, and it ceased to exist as a political grouping. Ernst Starhemberg was left out of the new governmental order in an attempt to end rivalries between private armies. See also List of defunct paramilitary organizations List of paramilitary organizations